Eh. Wow. Wow. This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. I ain't never heard nor seen something like this in my life as far as a story go when it comes to a baby. Now I'm gonna read this to you. I'm gonna read this to y'all. Cause this, this, this right here, this crazy. Uh, Dr. Tracy Street Julian is allegedly the physician responsible for pulling baby head off during the delivery at Southern Regional Medical Center Hospital in Atlanta. Wow. According to the suit, the baby got stuck during the delivery, but St. Julian delayed a surgical procedure and failed to seek help quickly. Instead, she applied ridiculous excessive force on the baby's head and neck to try to, to deliver it. Attorney Roger Edelman, Roderick Edmond, who is also a physician, said, roughly three hours passed before St. Julian took Ross 24 for caesarean uh for C-section, according to the suit. By then, a fetal monitor had stopped registering the heartbeat. The C-section removed the baby's legs and body, but the head was delivered vaginally, according to Edmund. The couple asked for a C-section earlier when the baby still could have survived, but were denied, Edmund said. Wow. That is a sad story. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Right now, I cannot imagine how those two parents are feeling right now. I can't even imagine that. You telling me it had been almost eight, nine months, almost eight to nine months that I was waiting on my precious baby to arrive. And you telling me I barely even get to see how my child look like or hear him or hear the baby cry. I can't hear my baby cry when, when he or she born all because of a dumbass physician. They don't want to sit up and take time and do their job properly. You telling me you sit up here can't be patient and do your job like you supposed to do. All because you want to sit up here and rush. When you dealing with lives, babies' lives, what it, you dealing with precious lives. And you supposed to handle precious lives like that carefully, especially when they coming into the world and coming from out of their mama. What the hell? Was was she even thinking? Please tell me. I don't man look. They need for ask for a C-section. If they telling you they would rather go with the C-section instead, then that's what they want. That mama. And that and that baby and, 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 and her, you know, baby's father had a decision already, but it was denied. For what? For what? Man, 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 this is a sad story, y'all. This is a sad story. I, I can't even imagine what they are going through right now, man. I promise you, I cannot even imagine what they going through. Man, man, my heart goes out to them, man. It just shows that we got ignorant ass people in big time positions and big time jobs that think that their job is a joke and they're not taking it serious. When you, when, like I said, especially when you in a field like that, you dealing with kids and little babies. Come on, man. Damn. 
Man, man, this is a sad story, man. Man, let me know what y'all think about this. I look forward to hearing from y'all.